hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about the firebase custom claims okay so what is this firebase custom claims so that is nothing but the rules and permission as you can understand with that so let's go to user management and here you can see custom user claims okay so this will give you the role as admin or if you want to add more like super admin else you can add like this and if you want to don't give any role just put it null or by default when you register with this it will be default as null only so let's get started guys with that so let's move to our user list.php and when we click on this edit button we move with the user id so here is the id and this is the parameter id called and we are going to user edit.php so let's move to this page guys and create one more opposite to this password change create a user claims okay so let's go back let's go to user edit.php let's minimize this password option and create a column md6 over here let's create a card so card card header and then h4 tag user custom user claims done and after this we are going to card body then a simple form tag so form where method is equal to post and over here form group as simple let's create a option select option select with the class we are going to tell form control and the options we are going to give option first will be null select rules let's give required copy paste and create this as admin and give him as admin over here then super admin super admin and remove role so no role we will tell off over here as simple and now guys we will create one button form group let's add margin bottom 3 button button which will be submit and the type is equal to submit name of this button will be user claims button okay and to design the button use button button primary that's it and now guys we need to pass the user id so let's get the user id in a input tag where name is equal to which is this claims user id okay value is equal to open php is equal to and here you will get the dollar uid so let's copy this dollar uid and open php close php create that so first we will check it whether it is set or not so what it's set or not using get method you are going to check the parameter of your id so this parameter id if it is set then you are going to get dollar uid is equal to then again with the get method you are going to get that id values and store in this uid so after uid comes over here you are in okay so for this you need to close php and start php let's take this and put outside this as simple let's align it and now guys if it is there then it will come over here so now let's give the name for this we'll tell as role as okay let's copy and go to code.php file 
So when I click on this button, it should go to the code.php file with the post method and taking this role as. So let's go to code.php file. Let's ignore this and start guys over here. If we are checking that button is clicked or not with the is set function and user button, if it is clicked, then you are getting that user ID is equal to dollar underscore post method the user id so let's get that first user id this is claims user id as simple and then your roles so roles is equal to dollar underscore post methods post method of role as so let's copy that and paste so inside this you will have all your roles guys so now let's give if condition if your role dollar role double equal to admin so which admin this admin admin then your super admin okay so next one will be if it's there else if dollar roles double equal to super admin okay else again else if else if you need to give this dollar rules is equal to which is nothing but no role okay let's copy this and paste over here no role done so now we need to set that claims let's go to our documentation and click on custom user claims which is under management and now guys let us set this admin first let's copy and paste so we don't require this detail we are going to set only one okay so which is the admin so let's copy this again and paste over here with this will be your super underscore admin done and then you are going to set the uh, no role which means we have to remove that role from if the id has admin and later if you want to remove that admin as no role then for that you need to copy this and paste which will set this user id as null okay as simple so guys now let us uh, execute the so let us so let us set the status and response for that so let me just copy from below copy and paste now over here let me type msg so dollar msg whatever if it is set you are going to show over here as simple now guys let us pass the message from here user role as this will be admin copy paste and this will be your super admin and user role is removed that's it save and back to which page we want to come back once we update this we want to come back to this same page so let's copy this and share that id over here let's paste let's remove this single and add double quotes double quotes okay and then you need to pass the id so let's copy this user id and send over here save and now guys let us try to execute and check let's come let's refresh so let me just align this top one go back margin top four okay so let's make this input type as hidden hidden we don't want to show that claims user id just hide that refresh and here is the role guys so now let's select the role admin or super admin or whatever it is so let's select with the first admin and submit click submit okay so role user role as admin it is set and how can you check that so there is no 
roll over here to show that okay so which you cannot see that rule what it is set so for that you can check from here only so let's code that so let's uh, go to our doc first and you can see this in your custom user claim where this is set so let's copy this and let's try to retrieve that so let me just paste below itself so let's add h4 tag and inside this only let's add one border warning and then let me just give first currently user role role is you can show over here open php close php and then paste your code so this auth so from where will you get you have to include at the top so i have included the dbcon which is over here this auth variable we are calling inside this and then you are checking with that auth so inside this get user register if any claims is there or not there you will find over here so let's use this method so we have stored only one record at once okay we don't have multiple records so we will use directly array and get the data so let's use a if condition with the is set function if this dollar claims and paste which is of admin so this is as you can see in our code.php this is the data we are storing admin and that data only we are calling over here done if it is there is equal to true if it is set to true then you have to show me echo role admin okay use else if again you need to copy this and paste if he is super admin at that time what you have to do show us super admin so let's copy this and echo echo until super admin so let's copy this again and paste and this third one will be nothing let's just make it to null it's of true we have to make it to null as simple and here you will mention no role done let's save and now let's check the output guys refresh you can see that currently user role is admin right now he is admin let's change to super admin let's click on submit okay the role as super admin let's see below cool so you can see that super admin he is assigned padding top padding 2 okay so guys if you want to give no role let's give remove the role remove role submit okay role is removed you can see no role is given for this user who is this om prakash okay so guys let's give his role as um, admin let's give admin and move on the user list now let's give in this table also to know that who is admin or not admin so for that thing you need to just copy the same code so let's copy this copy and go back to your user list.php and paste inside your td tag done and remove this h2 span that's it make it to span instead of h4 and make one column after the email as role as save refresh so you can see that om prakash which is no role and with prakash has no role so guys for this let me just show you what happens over here user id we have to get so how will you get that user id let's set that user id user 
of your UID so which will get your current user ID let's save and check that over here perfect so you can see that role is admin and uh, with Prakash has no role so guys in this video that's it and let's continue to integrate this role into your login system okay so when you are admin that time you can access this page if you are not admin then you cannot access this page or edit this user details so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share